Hey you guys, a little bit of an update on the whole selling thing. I needed to get a new phone because I'll show you, I'll get my other phone starting real quick. While that's loading up, I'll show you stuff. I have been selling a little bit, not a whole lot of eBay sales. I did sell Kingdom Hearts on the PS3 for 15 bucks and a few other small things, but I wasn't able to record them because of um because my phone died and I just, I wasn't able to film anything on it, I had to wait until I got a new one and I wasn't going to, you know, sit on an item and not send it off until I got a new phone. I was going to do right by the buyer and send it off. So I did that. I sold my box Nintendo 64. It's no longer on the ground, which is nice, it's looking much nicer. I sold the box 64 and a few games for $130, something like that, so... Not the best deal on my part, you know, I probably could have sold it for more if I put it on eBay, but I put it on Gumtree and I was being fussed around so much by people, man. I had a guy tell me, hey, I'll come pick this up today, never showed up. Another guy said, hey, I'll come pick this up tomorrow, never showed up. You know, a lot of people trying to get it lower for what I was asking for, you know, I wanted 80 bucks for a box 64 in good condition. You know, I didn't think that was unreasonable, but... The way these people acted, you would think I was trying to steal their kidney, so... I, mean, I thought I was giving a good deal, apparently not. But it did eventually go... I got rid of the two boxed PlayStation 1s as well, which is nice. I sold them to a guy at the market. I keep looking at myself in the screen instead of this. <laughs> I should be looking at that. I sold it to a guy at the market, a guy named Eddie. I got some games from him, actually. Did a straight trade. I gave him the box of Playstations and he gave me these three Playstation 1 games like oh I sell consoles and then I buy games with them what's the deal with that whatever I'm not selling the Playstation 1 or 2 or 3 collection so I'm still building that up what else did I get rid of ooh I went to CEX I traded in all of those boxed consoles and spare consoles I showed you and they were able to take all except for one PlayStation 2 because one of my PlayStation 2s had a um, a faulty controller. The up button on the D-pad wouldn't work properly, so I needed to find another controller for that. I did a bit more digging. I did find a working PlayStation Portable, which is nice. This one works well. See, this one reads games and everything. All the buttons work well. I have a charger for it, so... I'm just going to trade that one in and I'll keep the four that don't work right. And two of them still read games, so it's fine. One of them just isn't in the best cosmetic condition. I can still use that. Uh, I still have this Wii to take in. I found another PlayStation 2 Slim lying around, but I gave that to a roommate. I just don't want to be bothered with pairing it up with uh, controls and stuff, because I've run out of them. And I did find another boxed Wii just as I was digging through like all of my junk. So I'm slowly getting rid of a lot of my doubles, triples, quadruples, crap like that. It's like stuff I haven't needed to be holding on to for as long as I have. And yeah, that will do it for now. I should be able to show you my phone now. Yeah, cool story. So I have all of my notifications, but I can't actually click them. I can go down here, but the top of the screen won't work because there's a, um, there's no chance you're going to be able to see that. Whatever, there's a crack. The person at a phone repair place said it's, because it's an LG, it's going to be more to fix. Because they have to order in the parts separately from everything else they usually order in. They usually buy in bulk for this phone, they'd have to order in a part specially, so they told me it would be like 240 bucks to fix. I thought, screw that. I'm near CEX, I'm trading stuff in anyway, I'll get a phone while I'm there, so I ended up getting like $180 trading credit there, and I ended up just getting a new phone. Not super new, like this is an LG 4, but I bought a nice case for it as well, so this one should last me a lot longer, hopefully. I also got a Vita game that I had on pre-order. Yeez 8, it's fantastic so far. And I'm waiting for the next video game to come out, which will be in November, so yeah. That's all for selling out this week. Next week, hopefully, I will get back to the edited style, but because this was a weird week, I just had to do it like this. I still have a lot of stuff to sell. 
This is a mess. This is the stuff that's on eBay at the moment. This isn't on eBay. I'll have to list that. Um, stuff I need to get rid of. Uh, this sold for $15, plus $15 shipping, but I haven't paid up yet. Hopefully it won't be like the hat. Ooh, I did sell the hat. Um, I could not get in contact with the person who bought it. They just didn't want anything to do with me. No contact at all. So, I relisted for 30 bucks, sold immediately. I thought, I'm not going to bother around with putting it on a bit again. I'm just going to throw it up cheap, and it sold. And hopefully the person who bought it will be happy with it because, yeah, they got a much better deal than the other person who screwed me around with it. So, yeah, that's all. That's all for now. I'll probably add a pickups video onto the end of this just to put them both together. All right, let's go do that. I forgot to mention I sold all my big box PC games. I sent them off super cheap. It was like 50 bucks plus shipping, so I was like... It was a lot of money for shipping, actually, on the buyer's part, but they were happy to pay it, and I was happy to get rid of it, so that's a lot less space being taken up now, which is nice. I've also sold, not even sold, I gave these away, a lot of my normal PC games. I'm just keeping the ones I like, like Pathologic, Heavy Metal, Amnesia, To the Moon, the Siberia Collection, stuff like that. There's only one that I'm actually selling, SWAT 4, goes for a little bit of money. So I'll be selling that one and the rest I'm keeping. Got Enemy Zero there, which is an awesome game. I also gave away all of my VHS tape, which is nice. That's a lot of more room that's been cleared up, which is good. That's part of the reason why I'm doing a lot of this. I just want to clear out a lot of room. <laughs> I'm taking up too much space, you know. Hey guys, you're my husband and you're welcome. More pickups. Um, not a whole lot to show this week. I've been focusing less on going out and... Man, the birds are loud. They've all jumped out of the trees now they're flying around like crazy things. What fun spring is. Uh, I haven't been going out a whole lot. Got hunting and stuff. You know, if I have gone out, it's to sell stuff or to meet someone to sell something because... I've been selling off a lot of my collection. I've just been really going hard and I've sold off most of the stuff I want to sell off which is nice but as always I am getting more stuff in the collection always you know it is always building and we will start off uh, next week I should have a better selling out video and hopefully a better pickups video you know I'll go out a bit more stuff like that I've also been working a bit more I've been working more hours more days so I mean that's nice I guess I get more money never a bad thing get it a little bit closer Get a bit closer, eh? Yeah, never a bad thing. Be getting a bit more cash, but... I did a trade. I sent someone a copy of... What was it? Panzer Dragoon Auto on the Xbox, and they said they'd send a copy of Space Debris on PlayStation 1. I sent mine out first, he got it, then he sent his off. All good. Um, unfortunately, the copy of Space Debris that this person sent was... A basically loose disc, it had like uh, printed artwork and it was just in a normal CD case and it didn't have like a uh, spine art so uh, there's space debris there. I did print out my own artwork just for the back. That's all I really care about, back artwork. As long as it looks like nice like that on a shelf, that's fine with me. I played it a bit, played the first three levels, it's okay. It's a little bit like um... Like Lilac Wars on the 64, except um, nowhere near as good. Uh, there's a big fault in this game, that's the enemies, I mean. The enemies, as soon as they fire at you, they hit you, so it's like... It's weird, it's really hard to dodge a lot of their attacks, and I found myself myself dying quite a bit, so... Yeah, nothing really I could do about that. Nice to have. Um, person who I did trade this with, just a suggestion for the future, definitely let people know if something has like a printed cover or something. I mean, I'm okay with it, that copy of um, Panda Dragoon Order cost me like 3 bucks, so it's like I was getting this for 3 dollars, so I'm fine with it, but definitely in the future, bear that in mind, you know, be upfront about the item. Yeah. I'll probably print out a um, front artwork for it at some point as well, just something nice. But while I'm happy with the trade, and you know, the person sent it out quickly, all of that kind of stuff. I did make an online purchase. This cost me a little bit over $10, I think, shipped to my door. 
it is Lemmings and Oh No More Lemmings. It seems a lot of the PlayStation 1 games lately I'm getting like either online or like from a reseller or something, and that's fine because I'm getting good deals on them, you know. This game for 10 bucks is a good deal, and I dig Lemmings. Lemmings is a lot of fun. I used to play Lemmings all the time on like the school, school computers when we were supposed to be learning stuff. That's why I know a lot more about Lemmings than I do trigonometry. Yeah, if you haven't played Lemmings, I don't know what to tell you. Probably should. It's a bit of a classic. Only other online purchase here. This one was cheap as well. This was $4 plus $4 shipping off of the Cash Converters website. And it is... Godzilla Save the Earth. Which is a good deal for $8. I'm going to say $4 because it has $4 on the price tag, but I'll be honest. It was $4 then plus $4 shipping. I think it came from like Western Australia or something, which is fine. A fun little game. I've tried it out a little bit. It's not perfect. You know, it's a 3D fighting game. It's kind of awkward in spots, but it's fun. So it definitely be fun to play with friends and stuff. I definitely recommend it and I like on the bottom here. As the people looking onwards. That's that's really funny actually. <laughs> Cause it's like they're looking at like the language selection and they're like <gasps> French Yeah. Cool little game. And I already pre peeled the sticker off so it's already ready to be put on the shelf. This will go next to my other Godzilla game. I believe there are only two Godzilla games on the PlayStation 2, Save the Earth and Unleashed. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong on that. Could be another one. Was there one called Destroy All Monsters? I don't remember. Fun game though, definitely check it out. Alright, as I said in the selling out portion, I did go to the market and I traded uh, both my box PlayStation 1s. He the guy that I sold them to didn't really want them. You know, I I know PlayStation One, man, hard to sell. I mean, why would you get a PlayStation One when you can get a PlayStation Two or a PlayStation Three? It'll play PlayStation One games fine. There are very few games that you need a PlayStation One to play. You know, I found that I needed a PlayStation One to play Final Fantasy VIII, and there are a few others that don't work on PlayStation Two. But overall, you can play like 99% of the library on the PlayStation 2 or 3, so you know, why bother buying a PlayStation 1? But he did give me $50 just towards something I wanted, which is nice of him, you know, he could have said, hey, I can't sell these, I can't take them, but he did give me $50, like, not really in-store credit, because he doesn't own a store, it's like at the flea market credit, at his booth, booth credit, I guess. He was selling these PlayStation 1 games for... $15 each, so it had 15 30 45 Show them real quick. We have this awful game, Hidden and Dangerous. I probably wouldn't have bought this if I had known how awful it was going to be. Uh, this is a real stinker of a game, man. It's a first-person shooter, and you're trying to be, like, going through the level, killing enemies and rescuing people. Like, it's just, it's really bad. The, um... So bad. It's really hard to explain what makes it so awful. It's just it's really cheaply made, like even down to like the weapons and stuff. Like when you select a weapon to use in the menu, you can bring the weapon up, but then it's just like a static image of the weapon. It's not like a 3D rendered weapon. It sucks. It's really bad. Definitely don't recommend a uh, uh, hidden and dangerous. Really bad game. Probably the worst game on the system if I'm honest. Like, at least Bubsy 3D, it's like, it's colourful and the controls kind of work. This game is just, doesn't work. Uh, one that's a lot better, Crazy Ivan here. This is a really good game, actually. I did not expect this to be as fun as it was when I started playing it. I sat down thinking, oh yeah, it's a mech game, I'll put like 10 minutes into it. I played it for a little bit, it was fun. I played through the first few levels and... You play as a guy piloting a mech, and in the giant robot, you go around and fight other giant robots. It's amazing, you know what I mean? You go around this big open world, and whenever you defeat a giant robot, this like Russian chick pops up on the screen and congratulates you in a sexy Russian voice. It's, it's utterly fantastic. I definitely recommend this one if you can get your hands on it. It's really, really fun. It's absolutely a product of the time, and I love that. 
fluff. Fluff in my beard. But yeah, screenshots there. Definitely check it out, it's awesome. It's only had one disc, but it's a two disc game, which is weird. You have the game there, the manual, and something weird I do, I don't know if anybody else does this, but whenever I get a game that looks like it's supposed to have two discs, and it only has one, I will always throw a loose game in there just to make myself feel better. So we have Without Warning on the PlayStation 2 in there that I've thrown in just because. And one I have not tried out yet, but I believe this is also on the Sega Mega CD. It is Shockwave Assault. So I guess the best way to play this would be on the PlayStation 1 because it'll probably have like better graphics and stuff. Over 35 minutes of Hollywood quality full motion video. Alright. That sounds pretty cool. I love full motion video. Whoa. That was not fun. Oh, cool, I put it on wrong. <laughs> this video is going great. Crazy birds, helicopters, things dropping out of the sky. PlayStation 1 game falling out of my hands. Can't beat it, man. It's a two-disc game. Oh, I see. You have that disc there. For some reason, he put the other disc there. Okay. I think I've got it now. Hold it up so you can actually see what I'm doing. Don't be a dope. There we go! Shockwave Assault. I'm gonna put it down before it explodes. No idea what kind of game it is. Looks like a spaceship shooter. I did get a few other things. Ooh, I also got this. I also had $5 credit left over with that guy at the market, so I just Grabbed an Atari game. He usually asks 10 bucks each for these. He said, yeah, just take five. So yeah, Human Cannibal. And that was all paid for on credit. So that's good. It means I didn't really pay out of pocket anything. I think, if I remember correctly, one of the boxed PlayStations cost me $18, and another one cost me $10, and it came with a bunch of games. So I was like, if you want to look at it like I paid 38 bucks for that stuff, go ahead, I guess. Uh... Human Cannonball is good. It's kind of an odd one. You fire a guy out of a cannon, try to make him land in a basket, and if he misses the basket, he'll hit the ground and say... <laughs> Only two other things I got from the market. I went there at 6am when it opens, thinking, oh yeah, I'll go in and be able to get good deals, because that's when... That's when some of the other guys in the market tell me, hey man, you gotta get in at this time. Uh, that's the only time we'll get good deals, but I think they're ribbing me a little bit. I think... They were just trying to make me get up earlier because I did not see a single extra thing, really. And it made me really tired for my uh, work shift later on in the day, so thanks, fellas. Yeah, two other things, five dollars each. This was just from a random seller. They had a like a basket full of PlayStation 2 and Xbox games. I got a copy of The Plan. Looks interesting. Looks like a... Um, sort of like a puzzle third-person shooter. Like a third-person shooter that you have to like sneak your way through and figure stuff out before you can do stuff. Like, it looks interesting. I saw a video on this by a YouTuber I know. His name is, um... I'll put his name here, I don't remember it. But he said it was interesting, so it should be good. No manual, but I don't really mind. Manuals aren't something I care about, as long as I can play the game. And something that looked like Road Rage, so I was digging this. Jacked. No idea what kind of game this is. Looks like a racing game. But the the cover looks like Road Rash, so I have to get it. Five bucks for that? Absolutely. Okay, I did go to CEX this week. Traded in a bunch of stuff. Just nothing, man. Nothing I got. I had to get this phone because my other one broke and I rely on my phone for work calls. You know what I mean? I'll get called in to work and if I can't answer that call then I'm not going to work and I'm not getting paid, so... Yeah, that... But I did go to the cash converters that was near CEX and I am going back to CEX on Monday, I think I mentioned that already. To trade in the rest of the consoles and stuff that I have that aren't like ones that I need. Did go to the cash converters near there. Nothing amazing. 
Just some like stuff that I thought looked interesting. For five dollars, I grabbed Supersonic Racer. Looks okay. The images on the back are really blurry. I hope those are not like in-game images. I hope it looks better than that. It looks like a Mario Kart clone, but it might be fun. Might be. You never know. You never know of these games, and five dollars is generally what I like to pay for a game. I'm not too sure about. Sounds like I'm not taking too much of a risk on it. Wonderful PlayStation 3 collection. My brother wanted to play this one, actually. Grabbed a copy of Skate. It's a good game. So, different kind of game than like the Tony Hawk's. You have to be, um... Do a lot more controls with... A lot more motion with the controls in this one, like... You flick the, uh, right thumbstick up to jump, and then you, like, twist it around to do tricks and stuff. It's good. It's really interesting. I don't know if anyone can answer this for me, but it's in, like... A thinner case. It's in a thinner case than a DVD case, but it's only marginally thinner. If anybody knows why that is, I mean, the artwork fits perfectly, so clearly this artwork was made for this smaller case, but I don't know, it's just thinner. If anyone knows why, let me know. Hmm. I might sw swap it out to a PlayStation 3 case just to make myself feel better. I don't like things that are non-uniform. And one last game. Five dollars. Destiny. I played this on PS4 for a little bit. Uh, I haven't played the PS3 version. I don't imagine it's as good. Let's get these stickers off of here. Ah, uh, never mind. I'll do it later. I'll do it when it's not inconveniencing you guys, but... Uh, Destiny 2 just came out. Whatever that's worth. Ooh. Completing the what I didn't have for the PS3 collection. I did play it on the PS4, it was okay. It wasn't a great game in my eyes, it was just like another first person shooter that was kinda like Halo, but I liked it. Uh, one last thing I got from the cash converters, I spotted this and I was like, huh, I'll grab that, looks, that looks interesting. It's a Nintendo 64 controller for $9, but it connects to your PC. So I tried it out with like emulators and stuff, and it works great for an N64 emulator. You can map the buttons to actually be like a Nintendo 64 controller, so... For $9, I can basically turn my PC into a Nintendo 64, which is awesome. And it emulates it perfectly, I mean, games run really well, all that kind of stuff. It's good times. Last two things, just random op shop finds. I've had no chance to go out to op shops. I went out to two op shops this entire week. So we have, for $5 from the RSPCA in Sherwood, a Dewey's Adventure on the Nintendo Wii. It looks interesting, you play as a rain droplet. Definitely have to try this one out, sooner rather than later. I might try it out after I finish this video though. Completing the... Oh, this is from a Salvos, never mind. And, two original Xbox games. I don't remember where I got these. These were two dollars each. Mech Assault, okay game, and Burnout Revenge, which is actually a really good game. I believe I have this one on the PS2, so I basically bought it to send it on, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I do half the time. Mech Assault, I have to check my collection to see if I have. I would like to get all of the only on Xbox games for the original Xbox, because that is one that I'm still buying and collecting for. But that's it. That's everything this week, I still managed to drag this out to like 20 minutes somehow, but yeah, that's it. Not a whole lot. I could be a dope and call this quality over quantity, but it's not all quality. There's a little bit of junk in there, like Hidden and Dangerous, which is a terrible game. I'll think of a title for it. We'll see. This is see with my house. I will be... Hopefully... The work schedule lightens a little bit just before we're moving into like the October, Halloween and Christmas season so I don't think it's going to be super busy during Halloween but it is going to pick up during Christmas so I might not be able to do a bunch of big videos during Christmas but I should hopefully be able to do a lot more videos during October and we have the garage sale trail coming up here which is like a 
big garage sale day, so I might see if I can take the day off from work on that one. You know, it's on a Saturday, I work early morning Saturdays, right up until like late afternoon, so I might see if I can take the day off, message Harry, see if he wants to go out and hit some garage sales, but until then, sick of my house, bidding you guys farewell. Hope you guys have a good one. See you. That's all, folks. I tell you, all the birds, all the helicopters, everything has to come out when I'm filming. I wonder why helicopters are so loud. That is something I would like to learn. I'll flip you guys around to see, boys. Uh, it's a new camera. I don't want to risk breaking it and dropping it and stuff. Dude, I can't even see where it is. Okay, there we go. I might just edit all of that out. Crazy Ivan, fun game. <laughs> I might, I might not. We'll see. It's the luck of the draw on this one. So, we have Crazy Ivan, 